Today we've got two of the most powerful titans in the MonsterVerse going at it. King Ghidorah versus Shimu. So who comes out on top here? Well, let's find out. What's up guys? This is Danko. I do fight breakdowns, power ranking videos, or more deep dives into your favorite characters and franchises with new videos every week. So if that seems great to you, we'll sit back and enjoy the video. Hit that like button if you want to, or hit the subscribe button while you're at it. Now, first things first, I do want to clear up that according to canon, Shimu wasn't the one who trapped King Ghidorah in ice back in ancient times. As cool as that would have been, that's just a fan theory. What really happened was Godzilla and Ghidorah fought in Antarctica and Godzilla beat Ghidorah, leaving him and allowing him to become trapped in the ice. So no, Shimu hasn't already beaten King Ghidorah. This should be the first time these powerful titans are meeting. The one who is many, the living extinction event, the death song of three storms, Ghidorah, the three-headed monster. He's not from this world, but a creature who fell from the stars, where he clashed with Godzilla for supremacy over the earth. After his defeat, he was buried in the ice, where he was discovered some time ago by Monarch, who established Outpost 32 around his frozen body in order to study him. But then a bunch of eco-terrorists set him free from the ice in an attempt to restore what they believed was the true natural order of things, a planet ruled by titans. King Ghidorah is incredibly powerful. Just for starters, he's over 500 feet tall and weighs over 140,000 tons. The guy's absolutely massive and easily one of the biggest titans they've ever seen. He's been able to fight against Godzilla countless different times. Each time they clash, it sends out a massive shockwave. And Ghidorah isn't just able to clash with Godzilla, but he's able to straight up overpower Godzilla. Not just that, but overpower a version of Godzilla who was amped up and more powerful than he had been before. Well, Ghidorah overpowered that Godzilla, picked him up, dropped him from nearly outer space, and almost killed him. That's how powerful King Ghidorah is. Not only that, but King Ghidorah is insanely tough and dang near unkillable. For starters, nothing that mankind can throw at him is going to do any good. The big guy is basically impossible to stop with any conventional weapons. Even the Oxygen Destroyer, something that was promised to wipe out every single life form in a two mile radius and packing enough explosive power to nearly kill Godzilla, well, Ghidorah just bounced out of the water like it was nothing. And then, if attacks from Godzilla, well, it's taken nearly every attack that Godzilla could throw his way and kept on fighting through all of it. And I'm talking taking point blank atomic breath to the chest from Godzilla and not even being phased. That's how tough he is. And when Godzilla is able to injure him, well, Ghidorah has a superhuman healing factor. He can literally regrow one of his three heads, act like nothing had happened. Then there's his gravity beams and energy powers. They're pretty much equal to Godzilla's atomic breath and power. He's able to absolutely obliterate other titans like Rodan or Mothra with them, and has seriously messed up Godzilla as well. On top of that, he can also drain power from other monsters, or even everything around him, in order to amp himself, make himself more powerful, even just by existing. King Ghidorah was creating a Category 6 hurricane around him. That's more powerful than any hurricane in recorded history. Yeah, the big guy is something else. But then there's Shimu, known simply as the Ancient One. That's exactly what Shimu is, one of the oldest, one of the biggest, one of the most powerful titans that we've ever seen. A true rival to the likes of Godzilla and King Ghidorah. I mean, Shimu is so massive that both Scar King and Kong can ride her around like a horse. This girl is just built different. 
For most of her life, she's been under the command of the Scar King, forced to serve him and do his bidding. Attack whoever, whenever he wants. Otherwise, she's kept away inside her lava prison. And in a fight, Woshimu is a force to be reckoned with. She's able to easily overpower Kong during their fight, whipping him around with her tail or throwing him by his arms and sending him hurtling through buildings. He's even more than a match for Godzilla too, like the most powerful titan ever, as she had a knockout, drag out fight with him and able to overpower him a few times throughout it. But probably what Shimu is most well known for are her ice powers. I mean, she is the one who was responsible for the first ice age. She's got some serious freezing power. She's able to shoot out freezing cold blast of near absolute zero. Anything it touches is pretty much instantly frozen solid. And it's deadly enough to where she was able to nearly kill Kong with one blast causing him to pretty much lose the use of his entire arm too. Even Godzilla wasn't safe from this ice blast. She managed to freeze him completely solid with one of her shots. Now, end of the day, who's coming out on top here? Well, both of them are extinction level events just waiting to happen. Both of them aren't just able to fight against Godzilla, but fight against an amped up more powerful version of Godzilla. It would be an absolute all-out fight to the death. Now I think Shinmu has the edge for fighting against the more powerful form of Godzilla. Because the Godzilla that Ghidorah fought in Boston was amped up with a powerful nuclear bomb. But it would have to be an equivalent to when Godzilla swallowed the nuclear facility in this newest movie. In order to fight Shimu and Scar King, Godzilla didn't stop there, but absorbed more and more energy until he straight up turned pink. But even though Godzilla amped up twice to fight Shimu, I don't think it's the same as when Godzilla amped up twice to fight Ghidorah. Yeah, Pink Godzilla went hard and was a dog in a fight, but Fire Godzilla is like a one shot for any monster just waiting to happen. Don't think we can treat Pink Godzilla and Fire Godzilla as the same here. I also want to say that even though Shimu fought against a more powerful version of Godzilla, I think Ghidorah actually beating Godzilla in his fight might be more impressive. I never really felt like Godzilla was ever that threatened by Shimu. Yeah, she froze him solid, but King Ghidorah literally almost killed Godzilla. I think that's a bit better here. And because of that, I think Ghidorah is still the slightly more powerful monster. Don't get me wrong, she will give him one heck of a good fight. It would probably feel like fighting against Godzilla all over again. But King Ghidorah should still be able to come out on top. King Ghidorah wins. But what do y'all think? Sound off in the comments down below. I know you're gonna have thoughts and feelings on this one for sure. If you stuck around this long and made it to the end of the video, that's amazing. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting us. And if you wanna go subscribe, well, go subscribe. You're gonna see more videos like this one every single week. I'll see y'all then. I'll see y'all next time.